Hello. I know a lot of churches are working through the technology piece right now for live streaming. And uh, so I just wanted to show what my church has come up with and how we're making it work with a relatively limited budget, but with what I think are some pretty creative ways that is making everything work relatively seamlessly. So here we go. So I'll start with giving you a broad overview of the equipment that we're using. So nothing new here for us, but we've, we're using the Behringer X32 and we've set up a separate uh, channel here for the stream. Let's see if we can put that on video for you. So uh, the mix engineer will just do sends on fader and then they'll be able to assign whatever they want to go to the stream. So pretty simple there. Um, I won't go over how that works. There's a lot of great YouTube videos about how to use the X32 and how to set up different buses and whatnot. But that is what we're using for a soundboard. And then for a camera, we're using the Canon, I believe it's XA40. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description here, but it is an actual camcorder. We've used um, we've used a whole bunch of stuff. We've used everything from iPhones to a Canon DSLR to now we are using the Canon camcorder. One thing to keep in mind that took me a lot of research to figure out was although a lot of cameras such as this one will say that they are 4K, they actually don't stream in 4K, they will record in 4K. So unfortunately the HDMI out, um, I believe it's HDMI 2 has the 4K capabilities, whereas HDMI 1 only has, um, I think, just standard 1080p. So keep in mind that if you did want to stream at 4K, you're actually going to need a camcorder that starts at right around $3,000. Um, I did find one, I'll mention it below, but for our budget, that just wasn't possible. But we still made it work and 1080 is great for our purposes. So after the camera, uh, we've got just an iMac using ProPresenter 7 now. Then we're using Ecamm Live, and we have a HDMI to USB capture card here, just a generic brand on Amazon. I'll add a link to that. But then the most creative solution that I think we've come up with is this Stream Deck. And so what the Stream Deck allows us to do is actually change between scenes in Ecamm Live. So I'll run over all of that for you right now, but the overview of the setup, again, is the Behringer X32. That is going to our front of house, and then it's coming out of the USB going to our iMac. And then we have the Canon camcorder that is going HDMI out. We got a little um, L bracket there. Run an HDMI down behind the soundboard over to this HDMI capture card. That takes us into the iMac. From the iMac, that goes over to Ecamm Live. And then we are siphoning in the lyrics on ProPresenter and changing the scenes with Ecamm on the Stream Deck. So I'll switch over to a view of, of these different screens and show you how we're switching between them. But how this works is We've got different scenes set up here. So if I click on the scene, we've got the welcome slide here. We set up a countdown here, and our countdown is set up at 15 min 14 minutes and like 33 seconds or something, because then we, um, we actually were running a video, but it looks like they took that out last week. And the video would run for just long enough so that we hit zero right at um, after 15 minutes. And then we've got it, this is probably the most creative thing that we've set up and why I'm loving using the Stream Deck is we have our camera set up for a wide shot. But if you take a look, but we only have the one camera, but we also wanted to be able to zoom in on the preacher and we wanted to be able to have left and right worship scenes for when we have two different people leading worship at the same time. And then there's also a wide shot with the lyrics. So I'll show you what this looks like with um, ProPresenter. I'll add some lyrics here. So you can see our lower third lyrics pop up here. And if you could see our projector, I know that's pretty far away, but um, that is actually showing our main screen, what everybody in the auditorium is seeing. 
But for the live stream, they see this lower third without any background. And we're able to switch between a wide shot that will show most of the full band and then worship right and worship left as we called it and then go to the preacher. And the way all that is set up is actually with the zoom and pan function of Ecamm Live. So under camera effects, we can change the position of where the camera is zooming into and zoom in and out accordingly. So this makes it look like we have three or four or five cameras when really we're just using the one. And originally I was hoping that because the camera was 4K, we'd be able to bring it in as 4K and then um, you know, be able to zoom in a lot more without any pixelation or graininess because we're gonna be dropping it down to 1080. Like I said earlier, that's not totally possible because uh, it only has HDMI one rather than HDMI two. But if you did get a nicer camcorder, again, they started around like $3,000, um, you'd be able to do that. And then this would look high definition even when you're zooming in and out. So you can play with a couple other functions of like brightness and whatnot. Um, and we also added an overlay so we can introduce the pastor accordingly as you see right here. Now what we're doing as well is rather than the slides guy having to jump from, let me go back to worship for, uh, yeah, worship lyrics for you. So yeah, we changed the slides and pro presenter, all that works perfectly. We see it on the auditorium projector screen as well as lower third for the live stream. But I didn't really wanna to have to go and click on each of these scenes at the same time, you know, swapping between two different programs at the same time that we're trying to run ProPresenter. And so that's where the Stream Deck comes in. So the Stream Deck has different macros set up. And so we can actually just press Preacher and it goes to the Preacher scene. Now, if I press Overlay, it'll turn on and off the overlay. I don't have to actually touch the software. And now if I go to, uh, let's see, let's go worship wide, wide plus lyrics, that shows everything going on in ProPresenter. And the ProPresenter tech doesn't have to jump between these two different applications. He can just click the Stream Deck anytime he needs to change between anything. So this allows us to operate with just one tech rather than having to train a bunch more people and having you know more people in the tech booth. Right now we're pretty limited on people resources. So this has been a really great way for us to do it. And let me show you Stream Deck real quick. So it's super simple. It's using macros and it was actually designed for gamers so that they could uh, do live streaming and throw up different stuff for Twitch and Twitter and all that stuff. But there's an Ecamm Live integration. So super simple. You just find a empty spot on it, open up Ecamm Live and tell it what you wanna do. So for us, we're just running scenes. So we got a new scene here and then I can title it whatever I want, you know, run scene. And then I can select from the different scenes that we've got set up here. So yeah, it's been working, working out really well for us. And so I just wanted to share with anybody that might be struggling through that. Uh, one last note is some cool features in Ecamm regarding the scenes. So there's a couple different ways that you can set up um, your sources. So this one, we just have a welcome video that plays at the beginning of the live stream. And we have this looping. If you check here, loop video. So this is just going to play over and over. But once the, and unfortunately I don't have the, uh, our bumper video set up right now, but the countdown is set up so that as soon as the countdown ends, this actually does not loop, it goes to the next scene. So what's great is right, after, right when this clock hits zero, the tech doesn't even have to do anything, it just goes immediately to our wide shot scene. Now from here, each of these scenes does not have any actual um, automation assigned to it. That again, all goes back to the Stream Deck but it just makes it so quick and easy. And then actually the last scene that we have does have, let me uh, just wide shot, there we go. The last scene that we have, and I again have a, a button for it here, the, I click goodbye, 
And then this is actually set up to, at the very end of it, end the broadcast. And so the tech doesn't have to think, think about anything else. As soon as this welcome video plays, it's a little over a minute long, it will end the broadcast and everything is live on YouTube. Uh, it's been live the whole time, but um, you know, saved on YouTube and ready to go. So yeah, that's the general overview. If you have any questions, I, uh, as much as I can answer comments and everything, I'd be happy to help anybody as much as I can. Um, praying for everybody during the season. It's a uh, crazy season indeed, but I'm confident that the Lord is working all things for good. And this is a season that we're going to be able to glorify him even as we go through um, just some real challenges in many, many ways. All right. Take care, everybody. God bless.